What's good? Boy. Look at my boy Hosh down there playing with the little ball track. I moved it in here just where they have something else to play with. with. They'll hopefully hang out on camera more. But anyway, welcome in everyone. Welcome in, welcome in. Getting ready to get started here shortly. Game Boy Boy, thanks for the lurk. Welcome in. What's up? I'm doing a terrible job. I haven't even done like my promo yet. Oops. Let me start sharing everything. I'm off my game. Go to share to all the social medias.
Huh, alrighty. I've done all the sharing and caring. <laughs> Starting a new run today in Dark Souls. It shouldn't take but maybe two or three streams at most. It's going to be a very wacky run. It's going to be a game-breaking run. It shouldn't be a very difficult run. But we will certainly find out. We will certainly find out. But I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> to be honest with you. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway... Getting ready to jump into the stream. Fun minute of the countdown, getting ready to jump off, jump in. This is a new one for me. I am new to the world of PC Dark Souls. I've always played on console forever. I'm still using controller, for sure, but following our success of the cursed Dark Souls mod, today I'm employing Cheat Engine to uh, really start fucking around. So that being said, I'll let the timer take down and I'll introduce our run today. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Can't wait. Hello, it is I, Alec the Lost Knight, and welcome back. First stream of 2023, welcome in everyone. Welcome, welcome in. Push, push it to stop button. I didn't have any audio on that. Interesting. Been having some bizarre audio issues lately and I don't know why. That should fix it. That should fix it. Okay. I didn't click the button enough. So, welcome in to another wild run of Dark Souls. Based on Twitter poll, this is one I've wanted to do for quite a while. This one does not, it does not require Cheat Engine. You can actually do this run in the vanilla game. But, it's a lot of very particular setup. A lot of effort. So, in order to help ourselves start off from the beginning with this run, I employ a little bit of cheat engine. Um, also, we're on... So, let me, let me preface a lot of things, first of all. Let me preface a lot of things, first of all. Alright? This is going to look like trash. This is Prepare to Die Edition. This is not Dark Souls Remastered. I actually do have both on my computer, because I bought it a long time ago. And I'm doing this because I am cheating. I am doing some great game-breaking things, so I don't want to associate any of that with Remastered with my main account and all that stuff, because this is a retired game. It doesn't, it's not supported, whatever. So we're doing our glitches, we're doing our, our BS buff stuff on this build on PTDE. Um, so, I can keep it kind of separate from Remastered. That being said, we're using a... Alright, let's go ahead and just, just elephant in the room, alright? I have not killed anything yet. I literally came out from spawn. I have not even entered the room to trigger the Asylum Demon yet. Yes, we're wearing Solaris armor. Yes, our stats. 10 vitality because I'm not a fucking narc. Ninety nine endurance, eight. Sorry, ninety nine attunement, eight endurance. So I might bump to ten because I like I like nice round numbers. 
Let's see if I can quickly uh, level stats. Here we go. Um, endurance. We're going to change that to a nice, lovely round 10. Faith, we're going to also round to a nice, lovely 10. Okay. So as you can tell from that, yes, I am using Cheat Engine actively. Even to that point, just to show you exactly what I'm talking about, I have this console open here. This is Cheat Engine with some tables loaded for Dark Souls. So I can adjust stats. I'm not capturing cursor. Let me change that briefly. Hold on. Properties. Capture cursor. Okay. Am I on the right thing? I'm on display capture. Properties. Capture cursor. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to fix things. Okay. Anyway, so now you can see my cursor. So like I said, I'm, I've, I've bumped my stats specifically. Um, bumped various things. Added in items, spells, stuff. Stuff. So all that to be said about how this was very broken. Um, let me change this over because hopefully we're done with that for right now. Okay. All right, so... The whole thing is that in Dark Souls, there are weapon buffs, such as Crystal Magic Weapon, okay? Which lets you buff the weapon in your opposite hand, okay? Okay. Which greatly increases it, all right? So let's, let's just say our right weapon 1, which is our broken straight sword, is at 23 damage. A bit of a magic boof. It's now at 464, which actually makes it somewhat viable, to be honest with you. Um, because that's very, uh, that's comparable to what I usually use in-game, to be honest with you. So, very, very strong. However, our main weapon of choice, and you'll notice it has maxed, um, durability. There won't be any breaking in this run, which is good. Our weapon of choice for this run is going to be the Stone Greatsword. The Stone Greatsword, however, is not buffable. Try to, it says no thank you. It says no thank you. However, also I'm slow rolling, because of course, I'm heavy as fuck right now, boy. However, however, you put on, and this is, I may, I'm going to fuck this up like six times in a row, so just bear with me, okay? Just bear with me. If we... Do this, do the... Fuck, I didn't do it right. Immediately. Good. Off to a good start. Roll this, this, this. I didn't do it. Alright, that's the process. Hold on. Like I said, I'm gonna fuck this up like six times. That was better. I didn't quite get there. Alright, hold on. Okay, so this is gonna... It's gonna take me some muscle memory to get used to this for this run, but we're gonna get there. got it. Now I have buffed this stone greatsword. So I have 874, which is wild. However, a two-handed attack with this casts Twop, aka Tranquil Walk of Peace. Okay? Tranquil Walk of Peace does... It's an area of effect that makes people walk slow. That's the whole purpose. Is it makes you walk slow and you can't roll very fast. Okay? Do I keep a buff on a, on a... Okay, I did. But... Because... We are breaking things tremendously. Because we are breaking things tremendously. Whenever we cast Tranquil Walk of Peace with this sword, it applies... the buff... to it. I can now run around 
like a madman without touching anything or anyone. And everything around me dies. So. Uh, that's... That's the whole point of the run. That's the whole point of the run. Is now we have a non-contact, a socially distanced, wild-ass build. Okay. And just to fully talk about what's going on here, so... Crystal Magic Weapon, which is what we're using. Crystal Magic Weapon. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some things. Just to fully explain the build before we get started. Like I said, I've already, I've already modded in a bunch of shit. So you can tell I've already got rings, we've got all kinds of shit. I, I cheated it in, in the game. Crystal Magic Weapon! Uh, let's see. Yeah, it high magic crystallization, right weapon, yada yada yada, whatever. Okay, so anyway, it's very good. It's very good. Um, but spells are affected by your intelligence, but mo a lot of times it's affected by your magic adjustment of your catalyst. I'm using the ten crystallization catalyst, which is one of the strongest in the game as far as magic adjustment, and it has an S scaling with intelligence. Intelligence for us is 99, so we're pre pretty much maxed out on, on magic damage. Increase uh, To increase that as well, we have a boost sorcery ring on, and we have a boost length of sorcery effect. I believe TWAP is usually a 30 second effect, perhaps, but I think this boosts it to more like a minute, minute and a half. It, it is a pretty substantial boost. So all that being said, all that being said, I should be able to, and again, if you'll notice, I didn't, uh, there's no durability taken from the sword, I didn't run out of castings, even though I have not bonfired, okay, I did not run out of castings. I shouldn't even have a casting, you use the 10 catalyst, which, which has your castings. I have infinite castings turned on, okay. Like I said, I have a lot of, of I'm cheating a lot of things, I'm, I'm doing a lot of, of quality of life cheats for this run just to make it not be such a pain in the ass just for the build just the build i still have what's my health i still have 10 health and i actually ha i had maxed endurance but you can't tumble buff with a fast roll you have to have a mid roll and i can't force a mid roll so i was like all right let's let's uh let's 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 i started as a sorcerer class because that's the only way you can attune magic in the tutorial I said, well, let me mod in some armor. And I thought, why not be, be fucking Solaire, of course. I'm actually not wearing his legs or gaunts because I would then fat roll. So. Without further ado. Well, too much ado. Let us buff up and begin the first boss. So let's see if I can get this again. Again, it's gonna be trial and error like every time. So I'm, I'm not gonna have this. I'm, I'm not consistent yet. We'll I'll, I'll get the muscle memory down. But anyway, I didn't get that one over that time. My over's not. My getting over is not fast enough. I don't know like why my like to the right is not working well. That's very strange. I'm not getting that over. It's very weird. I'm like not getting it. That time it got there, so I'm not sure what the difference was. But anyway, let's try this again. I think it's because I'm hitting LB to cast. And it's trying to take LB as moving the menu over, so. Try this again. You son of a bitch, dude. That would have been it. <coughs> I get the rhythm down. Okay. That's it. You got it. Let's 
go. I might shed maybe the helm so we can get back to a mid roll. It's still gonna be a fat roll, but anyway. Alright. Hey, if you missed it, the boss just died. In case you missed it, the boss just ate shit. Alright, I can go back to mid roll if I shed armor. Okay. I really need to get the dragon torso if that's the case then. Okay. That's truly wild. That is truly wild. Hey, get, get close enough so I can hit you with this. Goodbye. Okay, that's truly wild. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to trying to make things work here. It's all very strategic. I will show you what I mean by that. Welcome in, by the way, Autumn. I'll show you what this run is since you... I've already killed the Asylum Demon, by the way. I already killed the Asylum Demon, so... That's our first up update of this run. Alright, we gotta get back to where we can get this, uh... Pull this off, so... Yeah, double tapped it by accident. Alright, let's try that again. Shit, I was on the wrong weapon. Okay. Got it. I am tumble buffing, which is a glitch. Which means I can then do this. So to to explain again the entirety of what's happening, <laughs> um, the stone greatsword, which is the weapon the guys use in the forest, the forest guardians, the stone guardians, whenever they use their special ability, it casts a miracle called Tranquil Walk of Peace, aka TWAP. TWAP means that everyone that, that gets affected by it, they slow roll and they like it makes them slow, so you can't run. You can't escape. You make them slow. Very aggravating. That's this, that's this weapon effect, okay? If you notice, you cannot buff this weapon, okay? However, there's a glitch called tumble buffing, which can, can be done when doing a medium weight roll. And I can roll. Oh, shit, I get that one off. It's very peculiar on the timing. It's very particular. If you do it correctly, you can buff a different weapon. You change weapons mid-buff. Now I have this weapon on, and whenever I cast Tranquil Walk of Peace with the buff on it, I immediately have an area of effect that does damage. So I now have a walking killing machine. And because I am using cheat engine, it's it's maxed damage. So every nothing's I it took like two seconds for a Demon to die. And to reiterate what I mean, so I've utilized cheat engine. I gave myself all 99s except for uh, I didn't need faith for this. I actually can't do endurance because I have to be at a mid roll. And of course 10 vitality because I'm not a scrub. So, anyway, it's also how I modded in this weapon and this spell in the asylum. 
Obviously, I should not have this stuff yet. But I utilized... Let's see if I change my mouse back to this computer. I utilized this cheat engine with cheat table and you can change stats you can add items you can do all kind of different shit so uh, you can break the game in, in many many ways for sure but anyway that's the point and the base of this build is that i will buff i won't have to swing on anyone or anything and uh we'll be good to go so And there's still some other ways we can increase damage. Um, we can get the dragon stone tor we can get the dragon torso, we can get the we can get power within. Um, so there's, there's some more ways we can also increase damage that I intend to try. But uh, it's hard. I have not I had some issues trying to add more than one spell through cheat engine. So I'm kind of not trying to chance it with Max and the build at the, at yet. Um, I didn't have very good luck with that, so I don't know if I can. Uh, to be honest with you, which it says I'm Soul Eric. I started as a sorcerer on this build, but I should actually have two. If you look at my inventory, I should actually have two scrolls of crystal magic weapon. But I only see one at the bonfire. So I, I think it may just be a thing where the I'm not going to try to chance adding too much shit with Cheat Engine for that. <clears throat> or even like the Dragon Towards the Stone, I don't know if... I'm going to assume you can't do that because it's a Covenant weapon. So we'll have to work our way... And we may go there first. Let's, let's, let's hit... I don't think it's going to be any trouble with any of the early bosses. So let's hit our normal early game route. And then we'll go hit the Dragon Covenant and the uh, um, Power Within. And we'll go that route. So I'll still need like a Pyro Glove and some other shit anyway. So which I, I can probably mod in the Pyro Glove. Anyway. Let's do our traditional... Traditional as is traditional. Let's do our run into the catacombs to start the game. I also have a never hollow mod in, so I'm never uh, I'm never beef jerky. I'm always human. So I'm just it's it's very broken. It's very broken in all the different ways. But you know, I say six feet apart. So the intent Very well. of this is to fully not Very kill nice. anything by swinging a weapon. I fully intend to do this by staying at a distance and using the buff only. So. Now let. Anyway. Come again. Actually, I wanted the gesture. The whole reason why I talked is I wanted the gesture. No. Oh yeah, that's you know that's me. And as I I talked about this early on. Come again. You technically. Tumble buffing. And there's another way to, like, ledge tumble by buff, where, like, you fall off a ledge and you can buff. You can do that in Dark Souls Remastered. You could... I'm sorry, my nose itches. You could technically do this run in the base vanilla game no cheats. Just with the glitch. And people have done so. I watched a video on it today of how to do it legit. However, that takes a shitload of setup. You can't start the run in the Asylum. It takes... It's a lot of effing effort. It's way better on New Game Plus whenever you have all the items already. Because you have to go, like... Get the sword to drop and do this, and to, you have to no, you have to go buy it from Steve of the East, and it, it's a whole thing. He was doing like soul duping, and and which again, you can do all this stuff, and you can even do it in on console. But I said for the heck of it, let's just start the game with cheat engine, to where I can go ahead and start with the what stuff we want. I definitely want to do now that I have my feet with cheat engine. I want to do more runs. Starting with cheat engine to where I can like okay I can just start in the asylum with the weapon that I want to do the whole run with or whatever 
you know, if I want to do Dragon Claw only run or some shit, I can just start with it, right? So, so I was going to, like, get in the game and go find it, because some of that stuff is late game, you know. So anyway, let's go run into, uh, let's go do Pinwheel. Also, if you notice, I have 99 S's flasks. I have, I have max flasks on. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that, to be honest with you. I know, I'm pretty sure I turned it on. Max. Whatever. So. Anyway, like I said, this is going to be an interesting run because I don't know, this may not take very long because I'm just going to be hitting bosses. I don't need to pick up any items necessarily. All I really want is Power Within and, uh, like I said, Dragon Torso if we can get it. But I need, like, a bunch of, uh, I have to. Oh, I'll mod in um, a bunch of uh, fucking dragon scales. There we go. I was like, "What the fuck's the thing I'm trying to think of?" Don't touch me! COVID's a thing. Get it? It's, uh, social distancing. Anyway. Six feet, folks. No touching. That was very impolite, but hey, he sterilized me, so you know what? I'm okay with that. This is not built on the cursed build, the cursed Dark Souls build. This is on a... However, I also talked about this at the top of the stream. Uh, we're to play on PTDE, which is Prepare to Die Edition. So the edition of Dark Souls that was out on PC that included the DLC is called the Prepare to Die Edition. So this is not the remastered edition. So you know it's going to look worse, but I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to sully, I didn't want to get dirty my remastered edition by Cheat Engine. Because they can ban you from online play from using Cheat Engine. As, as well they should, you know. Um, so I didn't want to take a risk of it banning my account on Remastered. So I'm cheating on Pre um, Prepare to Die Edition, which you can't even buy anymore. You have to have like a code for it, but I had it from years ago, you know, because I bought the original edition years ago. Uh, like I said, it's not going to look as good, but functionally it's the same game. There's a couple quality of life things that I won't have that, that Remastered has, um, but not a biggie. Damn it, Leroy. Would you get your ass off this, you motherfucker? Yes, fault. There you go. Thank you. I won't need Leroy for this boss fight, but I also like to have him to kill the pinwheels. Because, again, um, I'm at 10 hit points. Which, to be fair, uh, I have 99 resistance. So I actually have decent physical defense. Because I hate resistance as a garbage skill, but if you can make it 99, why not? You get free passive resistance passive defense. So now we're going to have to set up our buff, our our build right here. Put on our armor once more, our Solaire armor. I did not kill him for it, I modded it in. Chill out. So let's get our, our buff going. Uh, let me make sure I got everything. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the, the roll. Alright, I'm more consistent now. Good. Alright, watch this. Watch the health bar. So that's how that works. That's how that works. I can't pick this up? Oh, I want, it must be like uh, humanity or some shit. I can't pick up humanity. 
We got them. Oh, it's fucking meant to be, friends. It is meant to be. We got the fucking mask of the father. It's meant to be. That's really fucking funny. That's really fucking funny. It's meant to be. All right, that's great. All right, let's homebone out of here. Can I? Can I add like a million home bones just for ease of of the gameplay? Um, get items, usable item. Add item quantity. Say fifty. Okay. Select. I guess I should be showing this on, on screen while I'm doing this. That'd be way smarter to do this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Homeward bone. Okay. Add. Add. I think that worked. I'll check it in a minute. I also want to make sure I get, uh, if I can. I don't know if it's in, if it's usable item. I assume it is. Okay, maybe it's been tight night, maybe. Hold on. Item. Dragon scale. Okay, dragon scale's in there. Okay, so do dragon scale. Okay. Quantity 50. Who cares? Um, add item. And maybe that worked. All right, let's find out. Dragon scales are, there's a few in, like we got 99 Homer bones, so hell yeah, first of all. And then if we go over here, we got 50 dragon scales. Hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. Dragon scales, you can find like a handful in the game. Like I think maybe five or six like dropped um you can be part of the dragon covenant and you get them for killing anyone that picks up a dragon scale you can then invade as part of the dragon covenant so uh you can get scales as rewards for killing people or you can farm on my exodia run where i did the dragon torso for the buff i had to farm like 30 or maybe it was 50 dragon scales by killing the blue drakes or the little yeah the drakes in uh, valley of the drakes which was terrible it was terrible terrible so um that was on console what can you do well, on pc i'm like i'm just gonna add that in because fuck you so now i can go to blight town and make the run and in fact i'm actually going to show you something real quick too we're actually going to do something real quick too that's gonna be super super cheating but you know it's okay all right, to so display capture, scroll up here to bonfire, change value to, we need to go to the, uh, let's see where we're trying to go to. You can actually warp to Gwen, that's wild. Um, Catacombs, Bed of Chaos, The Abyss, Painted World, Darkman Tomb. Ash Lake, Everlasting Dragon Bonfire. Okay. So that sets our last rested bonfire to that. Oh, the Mask of the Father. Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, so you get it. There's three different masks. There's the father, mother, child, and it's a random drop which one you get. So, But the Mask of the Father... So the Mask of the Child gives you stamina regen. Mask of the Father gives you an equipment load uh, bonus, and the Mask of the Mother gives you a health bonus. But the Mask of the Father is always the meme one that everybody uses for a meme because it's it's goofy as hell looking. So I think that's why I said it was like it's like meant to be. Um, but like so if we if we try this now, oopsie doodle. I could have just used one of my ninety nine fucking. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't do that. Oh, look, we're at the bonfire I wanted to go to. Imagine that. So I just set my last bonfire to this bonfire. I'm at the Dragon Covenant. Enter Covenant, yes, please. Oh. 
Excellent. Offer dragon scale. No dragon scale. So that's why I'm, I'm worried that the, the ones that I mod in don't act correctly. I may have to do this like 50 times, by the way. There's no, in, in Remastered, you can do, like, offer all, or offer multiple. This is going to be a one-at-a-time thing. But if you notice, it didn't recognize me of having those items, so I dropped them and then picked them back up, and, I, and then they became real. So that may be a little weird of a workaround I may have to do. I try. You can also do the same bu uh, buff instead of using uh, Crystal Magic Weapon. You can also do like Dark Moon Blade or you can do uh, Sunlight Blade. Um, but Dark Moon Blade, you have to be in part of the Dark Moon Covenant. Even if you have the spell. so Or the, the Miracle. So I actually warped to the Dark Moon Tomb into the Covenant and was able to use it, but you can buff it if you're a deeper allegiance. So I, I modded in souvenirs of reprisal, but didn't recognize that I had them. I bet you if I had dropped them and then picked them back up, it would have recognized it. So. Much like the Exodia run, I'm hopeful that doing this, if I get the uh, the Torso Dragon Roar, will also to help just be stupidly high damage. Um, It says Legion's Deepen, but I have not seen it. It didn't give me the Torso Stone, did it? Totally just deepened. Does it say that every time, or is that just... It says that every time, never mind. All right, so we're gonna keep offering until they give me a thing. I've been like cold in here all day, and then I start streaming. I'm, I'm like, I'm hot. <laughs> Let me turn the air down again. I don't know. All those lights and shit on, I guess. So here in the dark all day. I mean, cold's a strong word, but... I like kicked the air off because it was running and I was like, it's, I'm good, I'm good right now, thanks. Dragon Tours of Stone. There we go. Alright. Rank gained. I think I can keep offering and get another rank, if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if I care about that or not. Probably not. Path of the Dragon. You, I mean, going from 30 to 80, which is 50 more, only increases by 5%. Five, by 5 so that's not worth going up any higher. That's fine. We're good on, we're good on that. I'll leave that one alone. So, got our torso stone. Excellent. 
All right, we need to. My mouse back on my computer here. And I'm gonna change the bonfire once more back to Firelink. Okay. If I use this, Gameplay Boy, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate you. Should we go back to Firelink? Excellent. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I guess I'll level up my faith. Uh huh. -huh. It's crazy since I modded it, like... Oh wow, it actually increased my... Weird. Okay, anyway. Sure, I'll level up Faith. Nothing else will level up, so... Who needs souls anyway? Okay. So we have all of our th things we want right now. Okay, so... Alright, let's test this... Our... Let's test our hypothesis. You've had your safe potion set up at all Ninja! Welcome in. You're a rascal. You're a rascal with no respect for knights. No respect for anything. Welcome to the shit show, my friend. It is a truly, truly wild build today. That I am using Cheat Engine on. So, be expecting a lot of wild bullshit. I didn't fucking, uh, I'm... I would've had it. I messed it up. Alright, let's try this again. Miss it again. Nice! Study, study, study. Hell yeah, son. Good luck with that. Good luck. Yeah, dude, definitely. Um, yeah, like I said, we just gotta figure out scheduling, but I'm, I'm down. Why is that not letting me do this? Is it... Still medium rolling, it's like, what's the deal here? Alright, what changed? There it is. Currently, yes. That's what I'm using right now. Doesn't have to be this. Alright, so now if I... And then... So that's that's working pretty well, I'd say. Um, okay, so uh, that's that's pretty good, pretty good. It's gonna get power within it at some point, and we should be good to go. So, Ninja, to to explain briefly what's occurring. To explain briefly what's happening, um, the so I may actually not want to do dragons. I'll have to dive in to get back my. I need to change my bonfire settings too. Let me turn that back off. There we go. I have to die to get rid of dragon status? Oops. Okay, that's fine. Let's 
So anyway, what's happening is that the Stone Greatsword has an AoE that does twap. You cannot typically buff the Stone Greatsword, but if you tumble buff, you can. If you tumble buff and you buff the Stone Greatsword, then you do the twap AoE, it makes the twap AoE hurt, and you can damage enemies with it. So, that's what we're doing. And you can actually do this fully in the base game. I am just doing it because I wanted to start with the run with this stuff. But if you had the Stone Great Sword, you had some kind of spell, some kind of weapon buff, Dark Moon Blade, Crystal Magic Weapon, whatever. You can tumble buff in the in the base game, and you can there's like a I don't know if tumble buff still works in remastered, but there's like a, like a ledge fall buff glitch where you can do it. So it's fully possible in the base game. I'm using Cheat Engine to help get this run moving and not be trying to find stuff. So. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to uh, start the run, essentially. We already killed uh, the Asylum Demon, we killed Pinwheel with it. So we're going to, uh, you know, make my normal path through the game. I'm really going for bosses, but I do want to get. I just got the stone, the uh, the uh, stone torso. I wanted the dragon torso for reasons. But uh, I might even get my my robes just for my fashion aesthetic, just for my typical stuff. Uh, if you notice, I'm also, I'm always, I'm always human. I'm not hollow. I have infinite flask, which is nice. I actually cannot, I actually could, but am not doing infinite stamina because uh, I have to medium roll to be able to do tumble buff. You can't do fast roll and tumble buff. You have to do mid roll. So I have to be able to use armor and be at a mid roll. But everything else is pretty much maxed out as far as stats, because who cares? Still 10 health though, because I'm, I'm not a fucking monster. So, 10 health. I'm true to my brand. Oh, yeah. That stuff. I hate that stuff, man. That's what Hamachi lets get around, but Hamachi. I don't trust it. Like I said, it was using up all my usage whenever I wasn't even using it, so... I mean, I don't appreciate that. Piece of shit. Yeah. I got my favorite robe on now. We're good to go. Let's go, dude. I might even go grab uh, Power Then while we're here, just for giggles, but... I usually get that on the. I, I, I still need a, I need a pyro glove though, which I can probably get. Hello? Hey, don't. Oh, by the way, I have max resistance because I, I could. And so uh, it was, I didn't get toxic right there, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I, I didn't play that game. I'll have to play it with you sometime. Oh, I'd be down. I might even get Mildred to, to invade me here since I'm human. That would be super interesting if that's the case. She might invade me because I'm human. I may need to go ahead and tumble buff again. Yeah, I did. Okay, sweet. So let's see if I can get this buff off real quick. Hashtag yikes, friends. Um, it's cool. So I get that one off. Got it. Ha 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 ha! Bitch! Come at me, friend! <laughs> no. So it's not that hard to pull off, believe it or not. It's actually not that hard. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> It's 
the question now is do we go up backwards and get power then and go ahead and just go ahead and get it or do we wait I think we, we probably just wait honestly I will let this bonfire though we have a good near I I definitely so our drunk stream was what was that Saturday Saturday night yeah uh, I definitely had to recover all day Sunday Definitely had to recover all day Sunday. Uh, it was rough, guaranteed. So it was that was that was pretty bad. Uh, I had a great time though. Stream was a lot of fun. So. Go get my grass crest shield and things. Gotta have the grass crest shield. Gotta have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dupe, dupe and souls and stuff, yeah. That's what the one that I was watching do this. He did it on console. He did it on PS4. And he just dupe souls to, to level up and, and do stuff. And I was like, I could, but... It's just a lot of prep. It's a lot of prep. And I might do it legit one day, but I wanted to start like in the asylum doing it. You know, so... Uh, it's a lot of prep. So. Son of a bitch. Almost died. I usually try to. I mean, best of my ability. Like I said, this, this can be done. It just, I'm also at the point of like, there are some runs and some builds. Like, when I did the Exodia run and I got the Dragon Torso. I mean, that's 30 Dragon Scales. So I had to farm Drakes for hours and hours and hours. Which is fine and can be done, but I'm like, if I can just pop into Cheat Engine and just spawn like 50, like, why not? I just, I literally just spawned in 50 of them right now. Like, why not, you know? So that's my like, yes you can, but if this tool is there, the point of the run is not for me to, to farm for three, you know, for 12 hours or whatever. The point of the run is to, is to fight bosses with certain gear. If I can just spawn that gear in, what's the point? You know? Like, this build, yes, I'm using... I have max stats, essentially. I mean, I'm... You know, I said 99 and everything, pretty much. But I did that... Because like I said, the point of this run is not to... This run is supposed to be dumb. That's what this run is. This is a, a break-the-game run. So, I don't care if I break it worse if I'm already breaking it. So. But yeah, these blue drakes, I, def I farm them for hours. And hours and hours. On a build that, once again, does not ever level health. So. Yikes, dude. Yikes, my friend. Wasn't fun. I just, did, I just spawned in what I needed, essentially. Now I'm actually going to go run and get some things. So, I'm not, you know. I don't know if you ever watched Lobos' One Punch Man run. He just went into the cheat engine and just made his damage output like 9999999. He's going on and just one punched everything. No, he, he has, like, a, a legitimately calls it the one, one Punch Man run, and he just went into the cheat engine and turned his damage output of his fist to, like, max value, and just one punched everything, one punched everything in the game. Yeah, like I said, everything's, yeah, yeah. Everything's pretty much maxed out. Ow! It's just, it's just ease of, of the run. It's, it's just, uh, you know, um, what am I trying to say? It's like you're, you're, uh, anyway, it, life, life improvement. It's a quality of life. There you go. Nothing that affects the run directly. I can still die. I still only have 10 health, but 
all the obstacles that make the run really annoying to set up, I got out of the way. I still have to tumble off, I still have to do all this stuff, it just, I got rid of all the really crazy long-term leveling shit. So, like I said, I'm not concerned at all. That'd be a lot of fun, randomizer mod. Hell yeah. I love this little, like, cross-arm, like, dance move you do with the, uh, with the dagger. Always love it. How am I mid-rolling with this? I'm mid-rolling with this on? Well, then hell. I can just wear this, then, and, and fucking mid-roll. For the buff. Okay. Don't even need the armor now. That's fine. So I didn't level endurance worth the shit, so... We all good. Because then I might can even... I probably can't... I don't even know if I can mineral with a... With the armor and stuff on or not, but anyway. But I've never used Cheat Engine before. I've just seen it Lobo through it a lot, obviously. Um, but since I'm getting more into PC Souls, I wanted to try out some stuff. Like I said, this is the simplest way of just like... I put, I put that poll and I have like three or four different options and I was like, this is one of the more complex ones to set up because it has a lot of setup to this. But it's what got voted for, so I was like, alright, well I'm going to go ahead and get everything Cheat Engine and everything. I'm going to set, set everything up. So. That would be ready to go. I'll probably go ahead and do the setup here. Yeah, that's way slow. I get that one set up. That was too slow. A little bit fast. That's not quite. It will lock you out of the of chaining weapons if, if you're not in the right timing. But I got it though. Or at least it should have. Fuck. Damn it. Got it. I'm also using the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring for more damage output. I'm using the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring for uh, longer duration of the buff. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply real quick so that way I can go from the boss fight and be fresh. I don't run out mid fight. That's gonna be a bitch and a half to try to redo. So I don't know what the, kind of, what the range is. I may not be to, it may not be to affect butterfly. Hard to see. Hard to see. Like, there's a specific, like, can't do it too fast, can't do whatever. Oh, yeah, it was like 70 degrees here today, so. Just FYI. I bet. The heck's the difference? What's the difference? Is 
See, that won't get me stuck. I wonder what the difference is there. That one's too late. I'm pushing that one too late. It locks me out of changing weapons. And that one I got it too fast. It didn't let me. It didn't trigger. Got it. Let's go. So I'm not even positive this can even reach the butterfly. So this may be a total get fucked moment. I don't know that, but we're gonna find out. It's not active for the first like 10 seconds anyway. This will probably be in range. Or it could very much not be. This is gonna suck ass if it's not in any range. Who else gonna kill me? Oh, we got it. We got it. It had to be just close enough. Hell yeah. And that's why it's social distancing souls. Stay away from me. <laughs> Hell yeah. What a wild build. What a wild build. Truly insane. Yes, Infinite Hom Homeward Bones, you're correct. You're correct. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everything. So, base game, if you do this without any kind of anything in, if you miss up the buff, you're going to have to hit the bonfire. So, you're going to have to do the buff near bonfire or be very lucky. Um, also, every time you cast the stone, stone greatsword two-hand, it takes 25% of the durability. So you need to have like a million repair powders on you. Or just mod out the durability to be maximum. Um, maximum durability. So, again, yes, it's very inconvenient in base game. Because like, you have to repair your weapon after every four casts or else it'll break. Or even three casts for that matter. Um, if you mess up the casting with the tumble buff, you gotta redo it. Uh, you know, get your spell castings back. Like, I have infinite spell castings, I have whatever. So, this is very much the epitome of this build as far as it's, it's getting maxed out. Well, learn Jester, first of all. Hurrah! Love some hurrah, dude. Love it. Hey, can I buy this crest from you? Thanks. Appreciate you. I don't really need anything else. Alright, sweet. Thanks. Don't get, you. don't get yourself killed. This is also one of those bits, it's kind of like when you wear in Dark Souls 2, if you ever did a, a butterfly suit run, the poison butterfly clothing in Dark Souls 2, you can accidentally uh, murder all your NPCs, or at least aggro them, because you accidentally poison, it's an AoE poison effect, all the time. You have to like take it off if you're going to be anywhere near NPCs, once you start killing them too. Before we go on appeal, let's, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and active this. Uh, let's get this active again. How did I get it? Try that again.
Nailed it. First try, easy. Let's go. It's weird it like it like ticks and it's like uh it's like tick tick and then it hits. It's weird how it's like not the first hit. Greens of X, what's up my friend? How are you? You're doing well? Yep, playing on PTDE edition. Prepare to die edition. I'm breaking the game. I'm breaking the game in many, many, many ways. So to avoid getting banned um, by playing remastered online or some shit and cheating, I'm cheating on the old edition, the non-remastered edition, so. This is my social distancing run. I'm not touching anyone. I'm just walking around and killing people. Maybe I'm patient zero of COVID. Never know. Well, let me switch this off before I end up killing by accident. Oh yes, yeah, definitely cheating. We are fully. Um, oh look, 99 S is flashed. What do you know? Oops. So, just for fun and giggles, just a light little cheating run for fun and giggles. All right, so we've opened all the back ways, the pathways, whatever. We're now good to go. We've done Psalm Demon, we've done Pinwheel, we've done Moonlight Butterfly. Let's go hit Taurus. And you know what? Let's, let's go the front way, I guess. Let's go the back way to get all the shortcuts open. We can trigger Hellkite, though, because I can just... I can just non-contact. I can just COVID uh, Hellkite Drake, so... Broken sword. Run. I could do a. I'm not going to ruin this run, but I could do personal magic weapon on a broken sword, and you can have 400 something damage. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about it, friends. Personal magic weapon buff is so good. Let's see if I can reactivate this buff. See if I can get it back working again. It won't be aggro anybody up here. It's the hope. Okay, good. All right. Immediately off to a poor start. Immediately off to a poor start. I mean, I got the swap, but it was so fast. I think I toggled off or something. That was very bizarre. Anyway. Very precise timing on this. Got it. Goodbye, friend. Ben, are you still alive up there, friend? What if I do this? Are you in range of that? You sure are. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That right there. My friend. Also you. 
Is it going to last long enough for this? Or should I reapply? I'm going to get killed down here, to be honest with you. Should probably reapply. Be worried about those rats killing me. Hey! Hell yeah, friends! You're interrupting my casting, to be honest with you. It's not great. Wow, I literally can't do anything, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I might be dead here, folks. I might be dead here. To be honest with you, I might be dead. Just the loop of them hitting you where you can't fucking do anything is wild. We can mouse with the shield a bit, maybe? I'm stinky. I don't like it. These rats are, are awful. Wow, that was a heck of a sequence right there, friends. It's pretty bad. All right, we gotta get out of the corner first of all. Corner's bad. Out of the corner. There we go. Not great. Not great. If we can reapply out here on this little balcony. Potentially. Um, let's try this. Let's see if we can reapply out here. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I really didn't want you here. He just fell to death. There we go, that time. Goodbye, friends. Come here, all three of you need to die. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Yes. 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 Doing A-OK -okay so far, friends. Doing A-OK. -okay. Will it last long enough? Yes! Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. 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 Look how long this shit lasts, too. Like, it's wild how long this stuff lasts. It's so good. Love to see it. Oh, it wore off. 
This guy's not worth redoing it for either, to be honest with you. Just gonna run past him. Open our shortcuts, and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to Taurus. So is everybody doing? Everybody doing well? Hopefully. First game of 2023, by the way. Hell yeah for that. Am I fast rolling? No. I was like... Weird. Nailed it. First try. Let's do it. So good. He tried. He tried so hard. What is happening? Who's messing with who over there? The Hosh and Kohana? I hear him chirping. Well, crazy little kitties. How is one of them already dead? I, I, I wasn't even up here. How? Fucking nerd. Lakes. I can't do anything with that one. I can switch weapons pretty fucking fast. I just I'm trying to get the timing of the magic weapon in there too. Got it. Alright, 
Alright, let's go hit, hit Havel while we're uh, active. Let's go take down Havel. I'm gonna die. Ho ho ho! What's up? You love to see it. I love to see it, friends. Problem's gonna be now is that I can't reapply somebody fast rolling. I need a big like beef weapon like a uh, like this, this one, not like this. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I need to rearrange my stuff to move the butcher knife up to here, and I can switch between that. And that'll get me there. That'll get me there. I'm just be doing this while I have power within active. It's like golden. Okay. The boss, quickly. Quickly to the boss. Acceptable. <laughs> Demon's Great Axe. That's a rare drop. Love to see it. Got his fucking drop. That's rare. Oh, Gargoyles, right. I was about to go to fucking uh, Capra, and I was like, wait a minute. We got the Gurgles. Can't forget about our beloved Gurgles. Our beloved Gurgles. Alright, we just ran out. So let's reapply. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. 
I basically already have. Um, to be fair, uh, I'm using the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, which extends the uh, boost length of sorcery effects. So that's as, that's as about as good as it's going to get, as far as length goes. It's already, like, doubled in length or something, so... The answer is yes, and I've already done it. <laughs> you can extend the spell durations, but uh, so I've already done so for this run. That's, I knew that's what this run was. It's just buff and hope it lasts for a while. So I'm kind of reapplying a little more often, but I also don't want to run out in the middle of a room full of enemies. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful about... Uh, where I reapply. Immediate fell off the bat. Love to see it. Ooh! Love to see it. That was pretty fucking quick. Gents! Excuse me. Pardon me. All of you. Out of my way. I don't know if Dragon Roar helps with this. I really don't. I'm just assuming it does. It, it, it increases your damage output, so... If it had to, I would assume. This is so satisfying! Oh, so satisfying. It's about to run out, I believe. But I'll see if I can get this guy with it for real quick. Excellent. Excellent, friends. Yo, look at all these drops. A bunch of weird, like, um, rare drops. Can I do this to this man before it wears off? You leave. I may have just soft locked those items behind. So I, I, I thought I could open this gate, but I, maybe I have to talk to him first. That's wild. Oh well, who cares? I don't need the fat ring anyway. I can always mod it in if I want it. So, so fucking satisfying. <laughs> Truly wild. Truly wild. I don't know if Roar is, is doing anything or not, because it I don't know if it would change the damage of your buff. But I'm trying it, because why not? Why not try to see if it does extra damage? Hello, Solaire. Why is this so... F oh, wait, no, no, it's fine. They don't, they don't run at you till the second fight, so I've got time to trigger in here. So let's prepare. Oh! Oh! Fuck. So good. Goodbye, sir. Not terrible. <laughs> With the power to melt. <coughs> it might be possible to one king four kings because they have a shared health bar. If I can kill them fast enough, the next one won't spawn. But I don't know that. We're gonna, we can try it. That's my, oh, my goals. I want to be. I want to see if we can one king, four kings. 
You can fight more than four kings, and you can usually fight less than four kings, but I've never been to see any... I don't know if I've ever seen a, a one king fight. Because they said they have a shared health bar, so you can just eliminate the health bar. But, it's a lot of health, and it's very quick. So it's only, this would be the one build that could do it, if you could. Greetings! Greetings! What a cool guy. That gesture. Hell yeah. I don't need anything, right? No? Okay. You're not welcome. Not welcome anytime. Okay. Where's our last bonfire? The bridge? Be good if it is. Yeah! Oh, even better! That's actually ideal. Sweet. Onward to, uh... Capra we go. I think we're just going to run past and then save and quit and then reapply when we get down there towards the uh, dogs and shit. Probably the better, smarter thing to do here. You can kind of have a, like a safe spot right here. I can reapply. Okay. So... Dang it. Dang it. Perfection. Yes. Shit, got a reply. There we go. Right, quick, while the timer's active, we gotta go. Gotta go while the timer's active. Die, everyone! <laughs> yes! Yes! Honestly, this might hit them through the fog gate. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn. They're not that far back. But you can't hit them. Okay. You can throw firebombs over the top because they are there. But, alright, let's reapply just to make sure we're good to go. Yet. I'm not doing against the wall. Does it have to be out in the open, or is it? I guess the wall second, right? The wall's fine. Oh, I didn't even switch over. That's my bad. Should have done swap first. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I'm gonna do it into the fight and be fine. That 
worked. Hold on, hold on. Be careful here not to kill the merchant. Definitely don't want to kill the merchant here. Hopefully it's not active still. Okay, we're good. Hello, lady. No reason to even open shortcuts because like I can just warp places with this small this uh cheat engine, but oh well. At least pretend I'm legit. Alright, I wanna save Laurentius. So I need to kill everything before I get to him and then let it wear off. Okay. But I need to go ahead and apply it now. Sorry if we should sign up for this for like three hours, but you know what? It's okay. We'll get there. I'm trying to figure out what the exact timing is like. Sometimes I get like first time, I'm like, yeah, and then other times I'm like, like this, and it's like I get the same exact re reaction every time, and I'm like, what's the difference? Got it! I missed it! Okay. So there's a, it's just a very quick window to get the weapon sw weapon menu. So my right, hitting right is not going fast enough. Okay. Damn it, dude. I did it, and I did not switch weapons. That's horrendous. Get out of that time. Did I fucking toggle off? You dumbass. I had it and fucked up again. 
Holy shit. That's all it takes is a little bit of a slip up like this and it's just fucking gone. You guys like the sound of menu, you're gonna hear this for like an hour. Be hearing this in your dreams tonight. We got it. We got it. Are you even remotely kidding right now? What a fucking wild man. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow, oops. I mean to fucking attack, but oh well. Clear out everybody while I can, and we'll, we'll save Laurentius. Alright, everyone is dead, now I can save Laurentius. Excuse you? Imagine this man just murdered everyone that you've ever known. You're like, I'm gonna get him. Looks like this. It looks like this. Grr. That can do this. Anyway. Laurentius! My friend, I'm coming! That's so cool! I broke all the barrels with the roar. Oh, I've never tried that before. That's really cool. Didn't know that was a feature. Hell yeah. Here's an ember I'll never use. Let's twop it up again. I'm getting a swap, but I'm just not getting the other uh, spell off. Yes. Now I got the spell off and get the swap. Got it. Be faster. It's faster than I think it is. What it comes down to. It's fast as fuck, boys. Love it. So, box rat, you want to come out and play? 
And then uh, Kirk's gonna uh, aggro. He's gonna uh, invade. Watch this shit. Bye, friend. Oh, what's up, Cur um, Curse Raw? You want to fucking play? Get out of here. Get out of here. Faith, I guess. Sure, why not? Can I like, make him like back up with a roar? Ow! I think he did stagger a little bit, which is good. All right, I need you to leave me alone for a minute. Thanks. If I can get another one of these off. I need to do this better, like this, and then I need to be using this right bumper instead of trying to go to the right, because the left, left, the right on the steep pad is not working. That's the mess with my muscle. Anyway, let's just try this again. I meant to heal, but you know it's fine. Box rat. <laughs> yeah, see you later, nerd. Oh yeah, time for the boss. Gaping has a lot of health, but we'll see how, how fast it ticks down with this. We might... No. Oh, because incremental damage. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't, like, it shouldn't moan percent us. Touch more stuff. It's Tamiko if you can fucking guess it. Hey, what are you doing? It always is. That's who it always is.
bugger. I can probably make it in the fight still, because I think I put a time off on the timer, I think. I'll have to reapply. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's go! I don't know that I've ever been grabbed by Gaping Dragon. I don't know if that's ever happened to me or not. I don't know if I ever have, if I'm being honest with you. Wild. Wild. On the boss down, though. On the boss down. Did I? Oh, I was like, I just didn't keep going. You're right. Didn't see it. I usually don't run back. I usually just teleport back. But I'm like, there's no point. I had a crank in my neck. Why have I been sitting on this fucking computer all day? Hey, Dom Hall. I don't really need anything from you, Dom Hall. If I'm being honest with you, I really don't need anything. Probably, probably. Alright, I'm gonna try to get to the bonfire without having to no buff. You know what? No, it's no fun. Let's buff, let's buff on the way up. The way down, too. Keep murdering things. It's more fun this way. Alright, we're gonna use this right here to be our buff platform. Fall off. Okay. If it's, if it's a time or a range base, whenever it kicks out. Maybe it's time. Like whenever I have to like reapply, you know? War off! Oh shit! Hello, friends. Gotta go. That's impolite. I'm being honest. 
Can you hit me here? Holy shit. Alright. Bitch. Ya bitch. Lord, they coming. Alright, let's save and put again. Something is in my fucking nose. Sorry. Itching. I had it and did not swap. I would, I didn't trust myself there, but I had it. Fast as fuck swap, but it's just not uh, not the right timing. Got it. Forward, onward. Mere mortals. Out of my way, I'm a god. Oh my god, longest ladder ever? Hello? It is a time thing. Alright, let's see if I can get this off before it goes away. There's still a fucking prick over here that's trying to fucking toxic me. What little bitch? I'll tell you, little bitch. Whatever, we got places to go. Just wore off. So we can get her back. <laughs> Not aggroing that man, hopefully. <laughs> Please redeem the uh the Lions, uh, Blaze, uh, laugh, please. Please, God. Please redeem it, please. I beg of you. Oh, he got the, knocked the fucking bug out of the air. That's gold. That's gold. I'd love to see that shit. Wait to the bonfire. Away! Alright. 
right, so do we just run past everything and get to... Probably. I'll, there's no reason to tumble buff just to get there. I'm just gonna run past a bunch of shit. So let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, we don't... We haven't talked to Laurentius yet. But I can add in a, uh... Alright, get items, weapons, Let's see if that worked. Gonna have to be on this hand. Cool. Excellent. Tune some power within. Love to see it. Okay. Let's see if this helps or hurts. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna increase our damage or hurt it. We we'll probably test. You probably test and just like test like some like enemy like real quick right right next to us, you know. Um, my, wait, wait, wait. Why am I? Why am I fast rolling? To the shield off. Oh, to the shield off. That's all it needed, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's put the shield in our right hand. Alright. Okay. When we're running around, we can, just, we can just use this when we're running around. And then we'll switch it back to when we're trying to do something. So, alright. Swap didn't get the uh, spell on. Oh, I swapped spells back, so that was weird. Okay. Let's see what our damage is, just straight up. Let's see what our damage is. Alright. 313. Three thirteen. Okay. That was a triple five, so I don't know if that's big let's, let's hit another of the same enemy. Four thirty eight. I think that increases it. I think it does. And it might even be more with the roar. Maybe. The roar might not. So I think the roar is only like physical damage or some shit. But I think power within might just be like all around damage period. I think it's definitely worth doing. Okay. So we're definitely going to do... Um, Power then combo with uh, the other. That'll work. Hell yeah. That's going to be awesome.
I wish I had my, uh... That's not my right now. Oh shit, I forgot you can't... You can't block with a shield in your right hand. You can only attack with it. In this game, anyway. They may have changed that in other games, because I, I know they did more like ambidextrous stuff in other games, but this one, you definitely can't. I forgot about that. Well, whatever. It still gives me my uh, stamina regen, so... Fuck it. Also, I think Lingering Dragon Crest also applies to Power Within. I think it makes it last longer. Which is wild, because Power Within already, la already lasts like five years. Let's see if we can re get a reset on it. Alright, there we go. Doesn't cure the poison, but we have plenty of these fuckers for that. So, not a problem. Alright. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah, friends. not be active still. We should be fine. Jam no eggs. Yeah, yeah. No eggs. I got it. It went back to 10 faith? I level up before. It's probably just broken because I, oh, I, I clicked something and it's it's set on ten faith. Cheat engine, cheat cheat engine set on ten. I'm like in, I'm like enforcing ten. Let me turn that off. Here we go. Okay. Anyway. We might can do ceaseless. Just like, we'll 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 do the build before we. To trigger the fight and see if we can do ceaseless uh like from like wall like next to him um or if we should just like run back and do the cheese anyway we'll see we'll see if it's in range he may not be in range butterfly was like only the very cusp of the range it was very hard to hit butterfly so maybe maybe not we'll find out Fun fact, if you want to do like a shield only only run, you could tumble buff the shield and, and do like really great damage to the shield. If you want to do a bow only run, you can tumble buff the bow and do insane damage to the bow. So there are many ways to use tumble buff that's not just this atrocity. But this is one of the better ones. This is one of the more fun ones, in my opinion. As far as super breaking the game. You can tumble buff any any item, any any weapon, you know. 
On a fist, only when you can tumble, tumble buff your fist. And do way more damage. Way more damage. So. Yep, it's just a, it's a glitch. It's a glitch you can take advantage of. You know what you're doing. So I like the, all this game. They're like, I don't know if they fixed tumble buffing and, and remastered, or if, or if they just made it to where you have to fall off a, a small ledge. The one that I watched, they would fall off a small ledge and they they switch weapons during the casting off the ledge, and it would work. So I don't know if that, if that's the new one or what, but you have to find an environment to set you up, which I'm not. I'm like I'd rather just tumble buff. So that's why I'm using PTDE for another reason as well. But anyway. At one point when I did my, my UI demonstration, I literally had a camera on my hands to show like what the fuck I was doing. It would be great here. There it is. Okay. So he may be close enough. He may have hit him from here. We can. We we could. Alright, I'm running then. A little scared, honestly, I wanna run. I think we could, but I'm I don't wanna fuck up this fight. And have to fight him like more legitimately, because it's a pain in the ass whenever you have to do that shit. He almost got me there because I wasn't running the whole time. Anyway. Ooh, look at this. PTDE classic lag. You'd love to see it. Classic game stuttering. Look at this shit. PTDE is struggling. Surprised Blight Down didn't stutter worse. That was like the epitome of breaking the game and, and PTDE was fucking Blight Town. Like 400 something per tick. Yeah. It's 400 something damage per tick. It's pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. That's the thing, right? It's like you're not getting. Um, you're not getting. The full like 800 damage or whatever the weapon per take you're getting just the buff you're only getting however how, however strong the buff is yeah you knew emote slot we were talking about uh what were you talking about for a uh, for a new emote we, you mentioned one the other day like you wish you had something It was another reaction, like, kind of like a hell yeah, but it was something else. Oh, hashtag yikes would be fucking great. That would be really good. You should, we should do one of those. That would be great. I'd be done with that. Hashtag yikes? I think the yikes is a ray thing, but I I and the word I like adding hashtag on the things just like randomly. I think it's funnier. It makes fun of the stereotypical Twitter pop um, pop culture of like putting a hashtag like like hashtagging everything. It is something I do say a lot. You're not wrong. It's one of those uh, key Alec numbing words nomenclature that shit that I say all the fucking time. Hell yeah. I say a lot of I say a lot of dude on stream. 
I do say dude a lot on stream, which I don't say dude a lot in real life, but I definitely do on stream. You're welcome. I'm glad I can uh, infiltrate your vocabulary. So, some might even say penetrate it, but anyway. <laughs> you walk. You walk. All right, we'll get to Inner Orlando and we'll probably wrap there. That, that should be about time anyway. So, be about right on the schedule. It's usually about where, like, if I do a, a like, starting a run or playthrough or whatever, I usually end up around Inner Orlando whenever I wrap, if I'm doing well. Uh, that's good. So, uh, it's probably just you and me here, but anyway. I'm thinking for tomorrow. I was talking about doing, like, uh, whatever's on Game Pass or something. Which is always an interesting idea, because like I said, it'll keep it more current. But, I am considering... Uh, I have not... I've never played the Mass Effect games. And there's four of those. And they're all very long. And I really want to start them. Because I've always wanted to play it. It would be, I think, a good enough break to be enough different from all the Soulsborne stuff to get a little more uh, difference. So I think I'm going to start that tomorrow. I actually booted the game up on my PlayStation just to make sure everything was there and ready. Because it... That, that series, as opposed to, like, trying to do Witcher or something, they've already remastered Mass Effect 1 through 3. They've already remastered it. So, I have all those on PlayStation. So, I can go ahead and play the remastered now. And just go ahead and just dive into it. This is let that be my Wednesday slot. You know? Um... Yeah, I don't know, so... Yeah, that's very true. I was thinking Game Pass because it would be a little more random and it would be a little more current as to what people are actively playing. People, a lot of folks stream whatever the fuck's on Game Pass because that's that's what's you're paying 15 bucks a month for. Might as well play the games, you know. But uh, Mass Effect is a big name series people do enjoy, and I've never played it. I would love to play it on stream. It's it's very much an RPG. Um, but it's also sci-fi, and, and it's it's right up my alley. I think I've always, like, I don't know why I never played it. I just never got into it. But there's, there's romance options. It's like there's dialogue choices. It's definitely right up my alley. So I'm very excited to play it. I've always wanted to play it. Uh, so I think, I'm, I think I'm going to. I think that's a good break from all the Soulsborne context. It's, it's a sci-fi shooter, dialogue tree, RPG style, like, game versus this. Very Alec, exactly. So, I think it'll be a good compliment to all my Soulsborne stuff, because like I said, if I'm already doing this run, then whatever the hell I do next, if I'm doing Soulsborne Saturdays, um, you know, you hate, you hate it's not going to be Mass Effect, Mass Effect Monday, because fuck, I'm not sure on Mondays, but um, Do I have an infinite of these? Oh, thank you, game. Thanks, mod. Alright, I have max flash now. That's good. Ooh, did I break it? I crashed the game! Hell yeah, I crashed it. you love to see it. Good. First crash. Hell yeah. First crash of a cheated PC game. Love to see it. That's like a staple of, of breaking PC games as you crash the game. I wonder what even triggered that. So I just use all the Firekeeper Souls or what? I don't even know, but anyway. Uh. 
<sighs> Classic. Yeah, your opinion, should I do... I kind of want to do Tuesday, Wednesday the same thing. Let Friday be Mass Effect and let Saturday be Soulsborne. I like the idea of having Tuesday, Wednesday be the same to where I can kind of do back-to-back -back and make some progress, you know, in a way. That's just kind of how it feels, you know? Oh, look, we're at plus five. It didn't, it didn't hit the last, like, two. So we can get those last two in before it breaks. Oh, it, it dropped them. Okay, I lost some. Okay, interesting. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I think I'm gonna do. Tuesday, and Wednesday, to be the same game. That way, like I said, if it's challenge run, if it's whatever, I'm, I make like some back to back progress on kind of the same buttons, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll Friday will be my. Because Friday too, I can go like an hour later. Because Mass Effect games are very long, I get those can cheat a little bit longer. And then I'll still have Saturday for Soulsborne or anything else random that comes up. I want to do a long stream for. But still need to get Ninja on to do co-op with, and uh, that may have to be a Saturday too. So we can we might do that this Saturday. I don't fucking know, but that may take a couple streams. Though it may not be just be one stream, you know. I don't know. So I definitely want to do a co-op, at least one co-op playthrough with him in Cursed Dark Souls. Definitely want to do at least one. Um, would love to do two to do a, 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 a pure pacifist run. Just play, uh, play support. I think there's some heals that do like you and your allies, and I can just run in and like maybe heal him or something. Maybe an interesting little fight. Interesting premise. Well, that would be a good break of like Tuesday, Wednesday, same game. Two Thursdays off, I'll be doing D and D, and they I'll be I'll be in on on whatever long series, whether it be Mass Effect or maybe Halo or some kind of series game on Fridays. Um. That way, like I said, if, if I can do four-hour streams on Fridays, you know, a little, little bit longer. Oh, really? Hell yeah, I will definitely be watching for that then. Hell yeah, babe. Oh, let's see. Alright, do I bother with... I should. I should go ahead and buff before we get in here. I'm not going to do power then. That's too, too risky. Come on. Oh, why is it up here? Weird. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, you don't have a consistent schedule, so, like, any, any that you do at all is... Oh, is my... I have to reattach cheat engine to this? No, I mean it crashed. So I'm just like I just have to. I've never, I've never had it crash. So I'm trying to figure out. I have to like re-enable stuff. I guess that's what I'm. I said I haven't had it crash before. Um. Let's just went back to doing it. See if it fixed the uh, magic weapon or not. Okay, it fixed that. 
Okay, so we should be good again. Okay. Ma'am. No, ma'am. Get your claws off my chair. I know she just wants my attention, but, like, she keeps reaching up on my chair with her tiny little talons. And I'm like, please stop. I don't want to buy a new chair. Hey, no, ma'am. All of you, cut the fuck out. Jesus. They're on cat cam. Look at Hosh, a little perch. I had it and didn't do it. I had it and didn't do it. Oh yeah, all those shots and things will really uh, tear them down. That's why I do that. That's exactly why I do that. Hey, no man. He could be a menace right now. It's not it's not in the stream yet, cats. You can't get wet food yet. It's not time yet. You're just like, you fucking for, like, almost forgot last night. You're not going to let you fucking forget tonight. I need to get some, buy some more wet food too soon. Fuck. Renable cheats and I throw, throw me off my game here. My stat still maxed? Yes, excellent. You should just stream Dark Souls. You get backseated so hard, I'm sure it'd be awful. You'd be like, LOL, you don't know what you're doing. So I think I, I worry about streaming new games, and I've I've had some very good people so far for like people that like with a uh, Earthbound and like and like uh, Evil Within and things. Like I had some very good people that that uh, helped me in chat, that genuinely helped, gave me pointers and didn't backseat, which is very nice because it, it can be very toxic and very fucking annoying. People are, are like going the wrong way, dumbass. Don't know what the hell you're doing. Hey! I saved and quit to save myself, and I crashed the game again. Good. Good for me. Crash number two. I need to have a counter for crashes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? Hashtag yikes? Hashtag yikes. I mean, it is a, you know, old ass game. I'm using the old version of it, not even the remastered version. I'm trying to, uh, okay. That was probably not what I wanted to do. Let me be honest with you, but I'll fix it in a second. Hey, I've got some suggestions if you want. I mean, I, you know, I'm not trying to make you, like, go buy a game, but there are some very um, fun little cute games that are not specifically Stardew. Okay, I should be back to what I need again. Okay. Let me 
reapply my beckon buff again. Force. play stardew i'm just saying like if you want to Ooh, we've hit a, a genuine like i'm actually crashing the game out like repeatedly now may need to change some of what i just did if that's the case interesting interesting okay that's three crashes good i have to tweak that a little bit so which one of these is uh Is breaking so bad. I mean, feel free. Uh, look on. No, I keep asking you. Look on the PS4 and see what games are on there. Um, I'm assuming you can use them. I I don't know how all that shit works. It's like they're bottom my profile. They may be locked on yours or something. I don't know. They're fucking. I'm, we can figure it out, but look and see what's on there. And like I said, I've got some some. There's one that just came out on Switch, or that yeah, that just came out on Switch. That's um, that Ray play. That's very very fucking good, very good, um, very very good. I also think like this depending on on how you locked on yours. Okay, we'll have to. You may have to buy the, which sucks, but I mean we'll have to figure it out, but. Um, anyway, let me get Dark Souls back running again since I keep crashing it. Since I keep crashing it. Sounds good to me. Alright. So I got... How much further did I get? Got to here. And then it crashed again. Alright, so... What do I actually need on right now? As far as cheats go. Let's turn on infinite spells and durability. I need those two. The rest of the thing we can, we're good at without. But those two I need. Oh, my weapon doesn't break, and I can keep casting. Okay. Fucking shield. Oops. Got it. Anyway, if you're just coming in, welcome, welcome. We're doing a cheatsy melting bosses run. It's a little wild, but we're having a good time. Shit, shit. Oh, I didn't turn infinite, uh, I was back on either. I was worried that was breaking it, but now I don't have enough, I don't have infinite flask, which is not a big deal. Son of a bitch, we're going to have to go all down the bottom. I never do this, but I'm going to have to, because I fucked up my roll. What's up, Mimic? Yo, bitch. I wonder if it's not aggro until it's... I can't hit it. That's against my whole no my social distancing policy. So I guess it lives. See you later, mimic. Have a good day. So all I had on otherwise was infinite items, and I had on uh, infinite items maybe breaking it, so that may be like filling up the register and shit. But. That and, uh, what was the other one? Never Hollow? I had that one on. I don't know. Alright, 
want to go ahead and reapply here because I'm going to run across this bridge and have to fight these guys. So. And then the autumn is like 15 bucks. So like I said, even if you if it does look like something you want to do, it's not it's not like a full price game, thankfully. Also, what I could recommend, which I don't know if you depending on you know Stardew is less like hand-eye coordination heavy compared to like a shooter or something, which I know you played COD before, so I'm not that worried about it, but I'm just saying, if you want something like Earthbound or some of, those, some of those games are very like easier to play, I guess, in a way, if that makes sense, for like a, a not like professional gamer, <laughs> like a not, not a regular gamer, you know what I mean? Like the Final Fantasy games or any of that kind of stuff. Right, I'm ruining this timing, apparently. I just know you, you, <laughs> with Rocket League, you're just like, no thanks. I was like, ah, not this, got it. Ah, what's the deal here? Like just not quite getting the fucking I'm not getting that fucking I need to Royally sucked. I mean Honestly, is very, very, very hand-eye coordination, especially for people that aren't regular gamers. Is is was uh, it? It's just it's just a car driving game, but like you're driving on like walls and shit, and like it's it's much more to look at than giving credit for. I would have had it. I did not change weapons. Motherfucker, that was the that was the one. I went from doing it like like first try to now like I cannot hit it. It just it's it's a timing thing. I just didn't. And now I'm off my timing. And I'm trying to figure out where the sweet spot is again. I'm not hitting it. I usually do. Well, I usually because I do. Uh, I do shots for goals. Is the problem. That's the problem. So I do. Sh I, in I increase. I include uh, punishment shots. Is, is what hurts. You know. That's what gets me. I can drink beer all day long and like I might get buzzed, but so be it. But fucking punishment shots is where it's it's a bad time. That will I will get trashed off of that. So that's that's where the streams where I'm like fuck. Alright, we got it. First try, easy. Yeah, in game Twitch, in game. That was impolite. He was probably out of range, but I'll try it anyway. Oh, it got him. Sweet.
Yeah, we'll be right on time. We'll, we'll hit uh, Iron Golem real quick, and then we'll be right on time to get finished at, uh, in Orlando, as usual. I also... Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit off uh, pace a little bit, too, because I did not really have the problem with that. I may have to, uh, have to do that. That may be a cheat the bonfire to, to speed this up a little bit. Because it, it saved me from the fucking jump and do all that shit. To the Alright. I think if I'm here, he can't throw at me. I'll, I'll set it up again. door on cat camera. Oh, you can't quite see her behind the very bottom there, but she's probably got a ball track. Aggravation. It's a very specific window. Let's do it. me again. Kill me with it. Thank you. That's what I asked for. That's what I asked for right there. I'd love to see it, friends. Oh, and I, didn't, I didn't rest with that bonfire. Uh, I think you're mistaken, game. I think you are mistaken. Hey game. I think you're mistaken. That's correct. Thank you game. Thank you for being correct this time. I appreciate that greatly. And there's the flask. All right, we're good. Let's try that again. Go a little further this time before I try to buff. Need 
Alright. Now it's mine. Just don't fall off, you dumbass. You'll love to see it. You fucking love to see it. Holy shit. Fucking love to see it, my friends. Yo, friend, chill out. Hey, you're gonna die. Bye. Asshole. Thanks for the chunk. Don't even need. All right, let's do. Uh, let's do this asshole now. Next. Not. No, no, no. Glove. Do the roar. I love you, Denny. Do the roar. That's a movie I hadn't thought about in quite a while. Gotta reapply, huh? <laughs> That's Shrek 2? We have a little birthday party and the little kid's like, Do the roar! He doesn't. He's like, I love you, Daddy. Shrek 2 is the goat, son. That's a great movie. The amount of memes that I see still pop up from Shrek 2, it's just a, it's just a gold mine. It's just a fucking gold mine. With that, folks, we're at in Orlando. I'm going to probably wrap it here. Return tomorrow to, I won't say complete this run, but definitely, I mean, possibly. Definitely, possibly. We're definitely going to continue the run. So, back tomorrow, more bullshit shenanigans involving the Melter. The Smelter Melter. The... Melt the power to melt this this run. So how we got on the time? Two, a little bit over, uh, closing in on three hours. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I gotta say, I gotta say, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid run so far. Hell yeah. We load. We come back next time. I may load into the asylum just to. Uh, she's naked anyway. Just to uh, get the peculiar doll real quick. Like, so we're just gonna continue our melt build. Continue having fun with it. It's just different and it's interesting. I think it's fun to do. So. Anyway, guys, thank you much for watching. Let me get my shuffle set up, and we'll uh, we'll get out of here. Hey folks, thanks for hanging out, for being here. Back tomorrow to continue. I'll put up a schedule. I'm sorry I didn't put up a schedule previously. I've just been busy. I'm working on a new video. New Year's Eve VOD will be up hopefully this week if it ever finishes rendering. And I've got a long video to put up hopefully this weekend, but we'll see. Anyway, folks, no DD this week. Be back in DD next week. And other than that, let's raid out. If I can spell this correctly, it's my own, one of my own channels. Love to see it. All right, folks. Good night. Thank you. Catch you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. I'll be here. Melting more bosses. Hell yeah.